As you design your ePortfolio, there are some web design best practices to keep in mind. You'll want to make sure to put the most important information at the top of your page. This could be referred to as the visual hierarchy. Google Sites is a reactive site, meaning that it's going to change the sizes a little bit based on the device that you're on, whether you're on a phone, tablet, or iPad. I really love the preview options. You can go in and see. Um, this would be what it looks like on the computer and then what it looks like on the phone. So you can see it's really important that whatever you want people to see first is at the top of the page so they don't have to do a lot of scrolling to get there. So in order to get to that preview mode, you just click on this icon at the top and then to exit, there's a little X down here and you're just choosing your platform type. Another best practice is to make sure that you avoid white space. People don't want to have to um, search for the important parts on your page and it's visually appealing when there's something on every aspect of the page but it's not cluttered. So you'd want to make sure if you put in a layout like this that all of these were full and there aren't any blank pages or white space. Uh, Google Sites uses the grid system which makes it really easy to organize your items. Um, so you can see the grids pop up as I move items and I want to make sure that things are uniform and then I get to have a good ratio of pictures to text. One reason I really like the layout option is that they already have a good picture to text ratio here chosen. So um, these are really a great way to have some good web design, but that doesn't mean that you can't create that on your own as well. If I insert a picture, maybe I'm gonna add some text beside. It's also important to remember that Google Sites is separated into sections. So if you have a section that's blank, you can go ahead and delete that section. One of the most important best practices is to make sure that your themes and your fonts and your colors are all uniform. By providing you with certain themes, Google Sites is already helping you with this practice. Um, so you just want to make sure that none of your colors clash and then they've provided certain font families and colors that will be across all of your pages. You'll want to note that as you add buttons and different photos that those also are uniform with the theme of your page. And it's preferred to choose maybe a minimal font that doesn't have a whole lot of um, decoration to it. That way it's very easy to read. One of the last things to consider is that the home page is the landing page of your site. So this is the first page that people will see. You might wanna create some buttons that link to other parts of the page or just keep your pages minimal. Um, so you definitely wanna have some sub pages here. So if they wanna see third grade work, they know exactly where to click. Maybe you're gonna have an about me page or something that's just community service. And so you wanna make it as few clicks as possible for your viewers. So in recap, we want the most important things to be at the top of the page. We want to use the grid system, have a good text to picture ratio. Um, we also want to have colors, fonts, and themes that are all uniform.